Greetings all, it's Blue Knight, and welcome back to Persona 3 FES. Previously, we learned how important that persimetry is to Bokichi and Mitsuko. It turns out that their deceased son was actually a former teacher at Gekko High, and planted that tree with his first class upon graduation day. But now that tree is in danger of getting cut down, and it's going to be up to us to find out how we can stop it, if there is any way we can stop it. Today, we're gonna stop by the Velvet Room for a little, for a little bit because there's might be some requests that are available to us now that uh, now that uh, a new section in Taurus has opened up to us. So I'm pretty sure that new requests are available to us too. Uh, yeah, Jupei, you should probably start studying starting tomorrow. <laughs> Jupei, you should probably start today because grades do better since you're in high school. We're also gonna hang out with Bakichi and Mitsuko some more since they are the only social link available to us at this time. Since all the other school social link students are also studying for the exam, so that's where we're also gonna spend the next few days leading up to, to the exams day. Exams day. Exam days. Because this actually goes over more than one day if I remember correctly. So first things first, we're gonna stop by the Velvet Room and check on those requests some more. Oh, wait. Are you familiar with the antique shop in Polonia Mall? They carry all sorts of things, both ancient treasures and worthless junk. What's more, I've heard the shop's owner has an interesting ability. I heard she can use persona to create weapons. Oh yeah, this thing! Weapon Fusion. I was not expecting this to be available this soon. However, the shop seems to still be closed. I look forward to its grand reopening. Alright, so Weapon Fusion. That's something we'll go over at a later time. I'll go over that a little bit more once the antique shop is actually open. Because if I describe it now, we might end up just forgetting about it. To be very honest. Okay, so... Uh, this is coming up relatively soon. A handheld game system. Uh, pretty sure I know who to get that from. Uh, a tri triangular sword. Uh, on 526. So let's check the other requests first. Because... Uh, we might be able to get something else done in the overworld. Uh, lead metal, no. Jack Frost, no. Okay, this is all stuff we'll have to do in Tartarus. So, we don't have to worry about this. Well, sorry for the Jack Frost thing. I could probably use that if I have the right personas on hand. Though, I don't think I have that right now. But this... Oh man, this is, not, this is one thing I'm not looking forward to. So, remember that Wealth Hand, the rare shadow that we beat up in the fellow block to get up that wealth coin. Well, they have requests revolving around them too. If we accept the request now, the next time we do defeat a rare shadow in the fellow block, we'll get a lead medal for Elizabeth. Thankfully, there is no deadline for these requests, but that doesn't mean they're any less easier to do. <laughs> so that's one thing I'm looking forward to tackling, since I did say I want to get through all or show off 100% of the game as much as I can, and that does include these kinds of quests too, which is something I'm not looking forward to. Also, Jack Frost for Dia. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I don't have the right persona for that right now, but I'll be sure to get that done relatively soon. Hopefully sooner rather than later. But at least that request doesn't have a deadline attached to it as well. So, let's see, it's Tuesday, so we'll go to Horror House since it is available on this day. It's pretty appropriate that I'm actually choosing the whorehouse thing right now because at the time of recording this, it's early on in October, which means Halloween is all the way. To be very, very honest, the months October to December is my favorite time of the year. Because in October, obviously, it all leads up to Halloween. And who doesn't love getting free candy and all the spooky and horror stuff that goes on during the month. I really like that. It's also where the changing of the seasons really does take effect, where the leaves start turning, and I guess there's colder weather. I could probably do it without the colder weather, but the changing of the leaves is something that just, I really grow to admire over time. Summer used to be my favorite season, season just because we could get two months off from school, but I've grown to appreciate autumn now, and that's become my new favorite season. Did you hear the latest? 
someone on the staff was hospitalized with some bad injuries. Uh, I heard the road suddenly collapsed when the guy's car fell 30 feet down? Oh my gosh. How was he able to survive something like that? He must be really, really fit if he had to survive such a freak accident like that. And these two are talking about the school nurse, which I did show off recently. We'll have to go visit him the next time we are sick or tired. So that's not gonna happen for quite a while since we are focusing, fo fo ah, yeah, focusing on exams. So let's see, let's discuss the Earth rotates today. The Earth rotates once every 24 hours. All right, don't fall asleep or anything. It's basic, but it's an important premise for the rest. And of course, we get called upon because the teacher just don't feel like calling anyone else. <laughs> How fast would you say the Earth rotates? The Earth rotates near the equator. If I remember correctly, I think it's 70 kilometers an hour. Aha! I was right. Near the equator, the Earth spins faster than the speed of sound. There's an application. Let's give that a... Hmm, that's an experiment. Okay, um... I have no idea what you found. If you read, like, a magazine or a textbook. Or maybe you found an ad in a textbook, which would be very unusual. But either way, it's now after school. Let me talk to some more of these people to break up the monotony a little bit. I heard some people who study in the library don't get as tired as easily. I hope there's more distractions. The library is really quiet, so it's probably easier to concentrate. Yeah, but unfortunately, being in the library does take up time, so I actually have never studied in the library before when it comes to getting my academics up, because I've always concentrated on getting my social like my social links done. But if we ever have a time to go visit the library, I might show that off, though it's a really small chance that I'll be able to do that. So we'll enter the bookstore some more. We continue to hang out with these two. Okay, so I don't think we've come across this yet, but this is the first instance of a uh, social link hangout. We actually don't have enough points this time around to rank up the Hyrophon social link, but since we did get enough points today, the next time we do hang out with these two, their social link will go up another level. And that's going to be the case for some of the social links we'll have to come across in this game. Up, if I'm correct, let's go to Tartars, bro. How about not, Junpei? Exams are coming up. Hit the books. Are you serious, bro? I am really serious. Look at Makoto's face. Does that look like the face of someone who just jokes around for a living? I don't think so. Save the world can wait. Exams do not wait for us. We have to focus on that first, Junpei. Oh, come on, Yukari. Don't get influenced by Junpei. He's a bad influence. Don't let him sway you. Yukari, you are much smarter than that. At least I hope so. I mean, if you get influenced by Junpei, then that's a completely different story. Some enemies can charm you. When you're charmed, you will, your, you will attack your team members and heal your enemies. I wonder if I've been, ever been charmed before. A person who's been charmed doesn't remember it happening. <laughs> Might give you a good idea on how to approach Yukari next time. <laughs> Though I'm pretty sure that would be a really bad thing, so I should probably not do that. Uh, let's head to karaoke again. Actually, I actually want to speak to some of the other members some more. And I'll go back to what I was talking about these social links beforehand. We have the same. It's Saru. You need extremely high amount of concentration order to summon a persona. If an enemy distresses you in battle, you won't be able to use it. Most intelligent enemies will try to use this tactic, so please be aware of it. I've actually never known that before. I know for a fact that panic can prevent you from using any persona skills, but I didn't think distress would cause the same thing. Well, there's a skill that can make someone become enraged. It's a status ailment. Anyone can go berserk. Both your attack power and speed will increase, but you won't be able to defend yourself, so you can get really messed up. So if you become enraged, be careful. So enraged is a status ailment we haven't come across yet, but Akihiko just pretty much described the gist of it. Weapons and armor can have special effects that will help you on a battle. There are weapons that will increase your attack power and armor that will strengthen your defense. 
cover all kinds of weaknesses this way. Just be sure you, that you don't use any weak weapons or pieces of armor. It's all about balance, man. Balance. Ain't that the truth. So, Akihiko just described the rage stats over in a nutshell. It can increase your attack power and speed. In fact, you can actually attack twice when you become enraged. But the catch is that you can't control yourself when you do get inflicted by that ailment. And your defense is lowered dramatically, so you can get damage a lot if you're not careful. And going back to what I was saying about social links, some social links will take a lot more points than others to reach certain levels. So work out the hangout with some of the social links in just regular hangout sections to accumulate some uh, some points in order to reach a certain level with them. And this we're having a persona of a matching arcana will really help because you will be able to get more points added to a social link, whether it's just leveling them up to another rank or just hanging out with them. They will get more points if you do have a matching persona, whereas if you didn't have a matching persona, then you would just get not as many points. And to break up the monotony some more, let's talk to more of the residents around town. My classes are so boring. My teacher's okay, but... My cousin always has way better stories of her classroom. <laughs> well, not all classes can be eventful. Trust me, I know. I saw the news. That monorail, huh? Could have been bad. I'm in the same line of work, or near enough, so I got goosebumps as I watch TV. I can kind of relate to that. Just seeing an area you know so well that appears on TV because it was the site of some sort of accident can really scare you a little bit because you know that area so well and just knowing that it was on the site of an accident really makes you think that if you were there at that appropriate time, maybe something bad could have happened to you. Huh? I just had that on the mind because there was actually some sort of accident that happened, I think it was sometime last year, that I kind of knew very well, but just knowing the fact that it was really close to home kind of scared me a bit, I'm not going to lie. Dear yeah, Makoto-chan is here. So would you please cheer up? Still doubt about this whole tree thing, huh? I understand the reasoning, but if that tree is removed, I feel like the memory of my son will vanish with it. And I think you're you're just being really, really worried about this. A bit too worried, I'd say. I think you two are thinking a bit too much, in my opinion. So just stop worrying about it too much. We're fine. We're not fighting. I was just fretting. Sorry to make you worry. Apparently, the rumor was true. They really are gonna cut down the persimmon tree. Probably do that just to make room for some other section they want to construct over the next few months. Uh, oh. I can see how that, uh... How that might cause a grim reminder of, of your son, I suppose. Just try and cheer up. See, dear, that's exactly what I said. If you keep crying all the time, then what will your admirers think? Right, Makoto-chan? Exactly. Can't worry about it too much all the time. Feel for Kichi and Mitsuko's great appreciation. And uh, we have reached yet another level with these two. Uh, I guess I can see why that tree could serve as a grim reminder of their son, but you can also probably see it, see it as a good thing, just to remind yourself just who your son was and cherish all the good times you had with him. Uh, and know that he ha actually had an influence uh, on other people too, not just the two of you. Uh, so you should probably be you should be very proud of who your son was as a person. He sounds like he's a, been a really good guy for what we've known so far. My wife will be happy to see such a handsome young man. Here, take this for when you get hungry. Fried bread. 
I'm pretty sure that just restores some HP. Probably not too much though, if I had to guess. Like I said before, I actually don't use Bukichi's eyes too much because I actually forget about them being in my inventory because I always end up hoarding a lot of items for... Out of paranoia's sake, I'll just be honest. Junpei, we're not going to Tartarus, jeez! Exams are not gonna wait for us. Tartarus can wait. I'm pretty sure the shadows will be very nice if we can actually go hit the books and raise our grades some more. I mean, they haven't caused any danger in the last few days, so I'm pretty sure they can wait. How are your grades, Yori? How are yours? Never mind, I already know. See? You shouldn't go head to head with Mitsuru. I'm currently studying college level material. Unbelievable. Talk about uh, being very diligent. Man, I don't feel like doing anything at all right now. That's what you get for trying to go head to head with Mitsuru Jupe. You will always lose to a Kurijo. Every single time. Oh, yeah, I need the handheld game system. And in case you couldn't guess, Jupe would be the one we get this game system, game system from. I mean, we have seen him play with some sort of uh, handheld sometimes when we at the dorm. The redesigned cop station portable to replace my original model. Gee, I wonder what that's a reference to. No sense of keeping both so you can have the old one. I'll get it for you. Wait one sec. Here you go. I'll take you on any time. And we got the handheld game, so we can give that to Elizabeth the first chance we get back to the Velvet Room. Which, since I am gonna head back to the Velvet Room anyways, or actually go back to uh, the mall anyways, I can just stop by the Velvet Room a quick moment to give this uh, item to Elizabeth. Hello Elizabeth, I have something for you. Something that you might like. Is that a portable game system? I've heard these special mechanisms can, that make the player forget about the passage of time. How frightening. <laughs> it's not that bad, come on. How does it work? Does it send slight shocks to addle your mind? I don't think I'd like to try this anymore. Wow, she's actually scared of the handheld system. I mean, games can make you forget about the passage of time, but wow, I didn't think someone would be actually that scared of, of such a thing. We got Cursed Paper 2. I'm pretty sure like the Purify Rise, that has a skill that we actually haven't seen yet, and we will be able to see for quite a while. So, we'll be sure to keep that in the back of our mind for now. Actually, I think that's gonna be it for today. I know it didn't seem like we did much, we're just hanging out with Bukichi and Mitsuko, but we're getting along with their social link and learning more and more about them. And I think we will stop by the Tartarus once midterms have passed. They are coming up relatively soon, so I'll have to get that out of the way first. Then we can focus on going back to Tartarus and explore that new section. So that's gonna be the battle plan for these next couple of weeks. So next time on Persona 3 FPS, we're going to do just that. Until we meet again, farewell for now.